Trying to get that offense moving here. Fake to Henry. Bro goes to Bell. Second time those two have connected already today. Bell's got a nice pickup. Nice do, and that's making the first guy miss. Go right back to the senior from Miami. Picks up a block from his quarterback on the edge. Henry's got a first down to the 32-yard line. Third and five. Ball spotted at the 37-yard line. Can't feel it. Some pressure. Rolling right. Going to try and get it himself. He will, and then some. Too many situations where they faced a third and seven, a third and eight, things like that. This time it'll be third and maybe a yard, or maybe he got just enough for the first down. He did, so tough. Camp goes back to his young running back. Kyle's mixing in a lot more run this time. This one, though, nice not going there. anywhere. Two wideouts and a tight end to the right. And Camp looking to go over the middle and threw it behind Van Der Esch. So it's incomplete. And the Coyotes, which had something going there, stall it out just inside Missouri State territory. And they'll have to punt. Johnson out of the shotgun. Pressure coming. Tries to throw it back the other way. He does. Finds Lorenzo Thomas. But Brock Mogensen was all over that one, along with the young corner, Miles Harden. Went over Illinois State. Here's the punt from Burkett. Nice one from him. Pushes Bell back to his own 40. Nice move into the Bears' territory. Mm. And down inside the 40-yard line to the 39. A nice return from Carter Bell. And other talented defensive end on that Bears' front. Kai Henry, nice hole up the middle. The Hipples open it up wide. And Henry's got a first down. The fifth carry of the day for Kai Henry. And Camp. Looks to the outside, finds Caleb Vanderess. That's going to be another first down for South Dakota. The year. Three touchdowns, three field goals to this point. Camp has it deflected. There to make the catch is the offensive <laughs> lineman, Austin Wallace, the right tackle. That young man played tight end in high school. Great job by the middle linebacker jumping up and getting his hands on this one. But <laughs> Wallace track that thing down and make a positive catch. Now Henry trying to ride that momentum into the end zone. Touchdown, South Dakota. And there you see the strength of Kai Henry. He's been the bowling ball. ball. Bears with 2.32 to play in the first. Mm. Bears taking a yard deep in the end zone. Big hole there off the left side, and he's got some space in front of him. It is lorenzo thomas and he's going the distance 101 yards for lorenzo thomas and the bears draw even right off the bat but that's back to the 20 yard line camp good protection this time finds van Der Esch, turns up field and he's got a beat on the defender dragged down from behind but not before he reaches the 40 yard line of missouri state fresh and the coyotes Back in business again, looking for Van Der Esch again, and again he gets him. Nine yards to the 31. Game. So give this time up to Tice, finds a seam. Inside the 20, still going, Travis Tice, five, touchdown South Dakota. Here at Missouri State. That's impressive. What if you got to fire your D coordinator? It's your son in law. <laughs> Awkward. Looking over the middle, has a man, and then making the catch that time for Missouri State. Johnson wants to stretch the field again. Instead, comes back, finds Little again out of the backfield. He shakes a tackle. Brought down by McDaniel. Oh, excuse me, Isaac Smith, the tight end to USD. Make sure you see where he's at. Fine. Oh. A different tight end this time. Down on this drive. And a little miscommunication that time. It looked Johnson might get away with it. Runs forward and has the first down. So that play looked busted in the backfield. If they want to get Jaden off the spot, because right now he is in rhythm. Got to be aware of his legs down here, too. Swings it out. Little cut down right at the four. Did he go down? No whistle yet. The Coyotes. Fly to the football there and finish him off. Elijah Reed in on the stop. Thus far on field goals, this will be a 21-yard attempt from the right hash. No problem for Pisano, and the Bears get three back first half. Pressure coming off the right side. Camp stands in there, threw it behind Van Der Esch. It's intercepted, and into the inside the 10-5 touchdown. Wow. 
What a return, wow. and again, it's Montre Braswell. What a half this young man is having to break, but more impressively, he's able to break several tackles and get this thing into the end zone for a pick six. That's two, three, four. That's great effort here by Braswell. Getting in right now for the Bears defense. It was Jalen Williams that got to Henry that time. Wide open, Brett Sampson, the tight end, makes his first catch, makes a man miss, and spins out across the 40-yard line. A big pickup there. Brett Sampson, much better field position now for South Dakota. That's There's Javon McQuitty. That's a big throw. You want to talk about response from your young quarterback. How about those last two throws? And, but he was able to be just enough effective to pick up positive yards. A little out here to Vander Esch, and that's going to move the sticks. Kyle's marching it right down the field here. It's second and three at the 24-yard line. Over the middle, there's Carter Bell inside the five and dragged down at the two-yard line. Kyle's will have it first and goal from there. Henry switches sides to the right of Carson Camp. Camp. Looking to throw to the middle, and it's broken up at the goal line. Pass maybe just a touch behind. Off the mark, and now Lorberon for a 21-yard field goal, and that is up and good, and we're tied at 17. Or third and two, rather. Tice out there now at running back, and they're going to give it to the youngster again. And he's fighting through that little bit of a seam, Andre. Got falls forward enough for the first down. One shot at least to try to, and here it is. Looking for the deep out. Vanderesh steps inside. He'll have a first down. That'll stop the clock again. With more yards, we might give our kicker a chance. Pressure coming. Camp up into the pocket. Evades one man. Now looking to throw wide open. Javon McQuitty inside the 10 and dragged down at about the 8-yard line. He was wide open, Andre. Yeah. Here we are, third and goal now. South Dakota. Camp. Looking to the back corner of the end zone, but way too much way on too that fun. one. Looking yeah. for Van Der Esch again. You'll take the points. Now, if you're Missouri State, that's a win for your defense. Twice they were inside the 10, twice you only gave up three points. Oh, he uh, missed so it. So you'll take that momentum. Oh, well, there you go. That's even Warburg better. missed a 24-yard field goal, and so now they get nothing out of what was a very well-executed drive. The Coyotes consecutive possessions now where they put them into a spot where it's third and nine and pressure coming Wilson swings it out here's little trying to drive forward he will be cut down shy of the line to gain there's Miles Harden Isaiah McDaniels there teaming up to make the stop to be out there he's yes. just had a rash of injuries throughout his career and has struggled to stay healthy in general wide open over the middle Austin gearing the tight end what a play call that time is gearing just kind of a delayed route, Andre, and he was all by himself. Play at the line of scrimmage. That was the third catch of the day for Henry, who's been active both in the run game and the pass game as he moves the sticks here. Last led at 14-10. Here's Camp looking wide open. Carter Bell busted coverage. Touchdown, South Dakota. 36 yards from Carson Camp to Carter Bell. Carter for Missouri State, Isaac Smith, 6'7", 250. And you've got 6'3", 250 there with Tiavaso. And there is a catch now for Jordan Murray. So he's got 26 consecutive games with at least one catch. Two-man crossing route that they've had some success with so far this in this game. Johnson looking a little the whole way out of the backfield, and he's open into Coyote territory, cut down at the 40-yard line. Officially second and 10 at the 41. DeMaurier Vic open on the slant pattern across the middle. He's all the way down to the 15 of South Dakota. The Bears in business. Really cool back. So watch power right Carson up the middle. Budmeyer, number 49, leading the way for Jeremiah Wilson. Tries to turn it up. He's got the first down. Still driving forward and all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri State. Jeremiah Wilson from five yards out. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying it up again. And bring up a fourth down. Here's Henry. Got it this time. Had to work for it. He got just enough. Maybe a, a yard and a half on the play, but they all tries to find the end zone again. Henry. Had to wait for that one to develop. Couldn't get to the edge in time, Andre. And Missouri yeah. State able there to get up and cut him down and now we got a flag in well after the play this one might go against Missouri State here I'm not sure what happened 
Defense number 26. They are the most penalized team in the Valley, and that is right there. Chambers just took Kai's shoe and threw it back behind the play. They get him for unsportsman. They're coming here, Chambers showing blitz. And now pressure coming. Camp steps up, and he's going to go down again. Sack number five for this Missouri State defense. It was Devin Gorey, the freshman defensive lineman out of Texas. Now Camp facing pressure up the middle. Steps up. Looking for McQuitty. Did the contact come early? The Kyle Crowd sure thinks so, but no flag follow. Lorberon. It's blocked. Second block kick of the year against South Dakota. And now Missouri State not only keeps the points off the board, Andre, they're going to have great field position here. Now, you could either look and say, wow, special teams is not having a very good day, or you could say that offensive line. Missouri State 5 of 13 on third down so far today. Struck looking to throw, looking for DeMaurier. Vic made the catch and then keeps his feet. E.J. Reed was there, made the hit. Second and one inside the Coyote 15-yard line. Give it off to Jeremiah Wilson. And he is going to be stood up at the 10. Play clock. Struck looking to throw under pressure. Coyotes got him. Jake Matthew and Micah Rowe for a big sack there. And South Dakota likely going to hold Missouri State to a field goal attempt here. What a win for the defense. And you got to give this up to Jack Cochran. Nine on the year. And this kick is right down the middle. It is good. And Missouri State with 7.51 to play in the ball game. Down and 10. Ball out to their own 35. Here comes Camp again looking to throw. And a flag comes in from the linesman here. Personal foul, tripping, offense, number 78. Top right of the screen here, 78. He just kind of kicked that foot back, maybe to slow the defender down. He gets called for <laughs> tripping to that original line of scrimmage and then reevaluate from there. Camp looking to throw, good protection in front of him this time. Now moving right, looking for anything, and now that's a covered sack. Andre, yep. the O-line did its job that time. There was just nowhere to go with the football. Five and a half to play in the ball game. Missouri, Missouri State a little out of out of rhythm here, but that zone is able to overcome it because there's no one open, no one getting open. And again, Camp is going to go down, and he's going to go down pretty awkward. Yeah, awkwardly, and fortunately for him, he's able to bounce back up off the field. One knee for Struck, and that should just about do it. I think it will. Missouri State, a big win on the road in the Dakota Dome against South Dakota. It'll be their second win of this spring season. And USD will fall to one and two with a 27-24 loss to the Bears.